Here we're going to apply rules of exponents in numerical expressions with rational exponents to write equivalent expressions with rational exponents. The first thing is when you're multiplying the same base, you can add the exponents together. So we have 4 to the 5th times 4 to the 7th. Our base is 4, and our exponents are 5 and 7. So we're going to say 4, and our exponent, we're going to add them together, and 5 plus 7 is 12, so it's 4 to the 12th power. When we're dividing the same base, we can subtract the exponents. So we have 7 to the 7th divided by 7 to the 3rd. Our base stays the same, but now we subtract our exponents. So our answer is 7 to the 4th. Anything besides 0 raised to the power of 0 equals 1. So negative 6 raised to the 0th power is 1. When you raise an existing power to another power, you multiply the exponents together. So here we have 3 to the 5th, but then we're raising that to the 6th power. So we're going to say 3 and multiply our exponents together, which equals 3 to the 30th. Now a number raised to a negative exponent means you send it to the denominator of a fraction. So 3 to the negative second power means we're going to create a fraction and then it's going to go into the denominator. But when you put it in the denominator, your negative exponent becomes positive. And we can't just leave a blank in the numerator, so we fill it in with a 1. So it would equal 1 over 3 squared, or if we wanted to simplify that a little bit further, we would say 1 over 9. Okay, a fractional exponent like 1 over n needs to take the nth root. So for 16 to the 1 half power, it would be the square root of 16, which equals 4. Finally, a fractional exponent like m over n means to take the nth root first, then raise it to the nth power. So here, this would mean to take the square root of 4, but then raise that to the third power. The square root of 4 would be 2, so 2 to the third power would be 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 8.